Hey, Mom. I'm talk to you. Sure. I just wanted to come and talk to you about things that's been going on. I finally told the girls the truth about my relationship with Pastor Troy. It felt good getting it off my chest. But now, I have to tell my mom, and she does not like lies. So, I'm kind of nervous. The reason why you haven't met Troy is because we're not in a relationship. I basically just made it up. Don't sit there and cry. You and everybody else don't understand, so. Don't understand what? Explain it to me. That I'm with a group of friends, and they have somebody, and so I don't. So damn what? Who gives a shit? They're your friends regardless if you're with somebody or if you're not. You want a relationship that bad that you would lie over it? Obviously, you did. Come on, man. You better than that. That ain't cool. Now, you see how your lies, how it escalated? Because look at money, how she was defending you because of Troy. And you was lying to her, and then she reacted the way she reacted. Money, she's been protecting me. She threw a drink and went off on Miss Juicy about me. Hey, my friend. I don't want to be your friend. I'm the queen of Atlanta, boo. I lied to her, and she was protecting me, and I feel horrible. She mm -hmm. threw off drinking Juicy's face. What if they would've got the fist fighting? And it's all because you was living a lie. Girl, don't you ever do something like that again. You should've talked to me before you even started this lie. And you know I would've shut that down. Now, is there anything else you need to tell me? I want to apologize as your daughter for lying and telling you about Troy. And I hope that you accept my apology. Let me think about it. Okay. I accept it. You better pick your big girl panties on and keep it moving. I didn't raise a pump. I know. You're a beautiful girl. Somebody will be happy to have you as a girlfriend. Because I see the guys looking. They mesmerize on that booty. Oh, whatever. <laughs> yes. I gave you that booty. Whatever. <laughs>